Live from the campus of Manhattan College, this is Mac Baseball. I'm joined alongside Tyrell Walden Martin and Alex Pena. I'm Josh Brewer. We have some Mac Baseball coming at you this afternoon. The Quinnipiac Bobcats taking on the Manhattan Jaspers. Guys, both these teams struggling. Both these teams pretty far under 500. What do these games really mean to either team? Um, I think it's still a chance for Quinnipiac to try and sneak into a top six max spot. Right now they're sitting in ninth, a few spots behind, only a few games back. They still have about six games to go. I feel like they would have to either go 5-1 and one or 6-0 and oh to get into the tournament, but it all starts here today. They're going to have to get past Manhattan first. You look at this Quinnipiac team, Two of their best players, Matt Batten, the shortstop, and Scaparello, power hitting, first baseman, right fielder, DH, whatever you want to call him. Mm -hmm. How's he been this year? Scaparello's been amazing. Um, last Friday against Canisius, he hit two home runs, and that pushed him to 14 for the season. He currently sits in third all-time for the program best of um, most home runs in a single season. First all-time is 18. I still think he has a chance. We saw him hit five home runs in the opening weekend of the season, so I don't see why he doesn't stay in the shot of at least tying that record. And Alex, you have some Matt Batten information for us as well, right? Actually, when you talk about closing out this season in style because there's little play of aspiration, you look at ending the season well and also getting those personal accolades. And Batten, as you said, he is one hit shy of tying the school record for most hits in school history and he's been someone that has been hitting the ball consistently throughout the season these past couple of weeks especially in the month of april and then the early portion of may he's been someone that's been getting hits early on in the game helping his team win these close games uh, throughout the end of the season so Baden, you look at him ch uh, chasing that school record for most hits we can lo be looking for that in these three games in the o in the weekend against manhattan matt batten can do more than just hit the ball. He also steals bases, and he also works well defensively as a starting shortstop for the Bobcats. Now there's one drill that he loves to do more than any other, and he was so nice to show that to us. So we're gonna show you what the three of us tried to do. We weren't that great, but let's check it out. Oh, it was great. Well, as you can see, the three of us aren't exactly great fielding shortstops. I don't think we're going to be winning any gold gloves, especially you, Tyrell. I'd win a gold glove. <laughs> I, I'm fantastic. My fielding percentage was A1. I mean, I, I bobbled a few, but... A few? Yeah, yeah, just a few. A few? It, I mean, there's never going to be a time where three tennis balls are coming at me at once in the field. So as long as it's one, I'm not Aquaman, I'll be all right. Hey, we're doing this with uh, tennis balls. He's doing it out with hard baseballs being hit a lot harder than Chris is throwing these, these hey. tennis balls at us. Hey. And I also have a glove on, not my bare hands, you yeah, know. Yeah, These are mitts, but they're not yeah, those mitts. Very large hands. Yeah, but even though we were doing it with two tennis balls, you got to think the catcher sometimes, he gained the ball, and he's got to be looking at the corner of his eye if there's a runner coming home on base, so. I'll be ready. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Back to Mac Baseball. The Bobcats and the Jaspers doubleheader starts Saturday, 2 p.m. First pitch is actually set for about 2.05. Second game will start approximately 30 minutes after. Right now they have that scheduled for around a 5 p.m. start. They'll play game three of the series Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. For more on the Quinnipiac baseball team, visit QuinnipiacBobcats.com. For Alex Pena, for Tyrell Walden-Martin, I'm Josh Brewer. We'll see you next time.